my name is Michele Tomea. I'm from Thai Italian Chamber of Commerce. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, coming today. Just, uh, just a quick introduction about the Thai Italian Chamber of Commerce. Uh, uh, I will share with you uh, some information about the TICC. Into the Thai Italian Chamber of Commerce. The Thai Italian Chamber of Commerce, or in short, TICC, have been established in Thailand for almost 40 years. We are an independent, private, non-profit organization of Italian and Thai businessmen and professionals. Duly constituted and registered in accordance with legislative regulations in Thailand and fully recognized by the Ministry of Economic Development in Italy. The TICC is also a member of the Association of Italian Chambers Abroad, the Joy Foreign Chambers of Commerce in Thailand, and the European Association for Business and Commerce. The TICC promotes its role as a representative of the local business community, and more concretely, as a meeting point for business affairs between Italy and Thailand. The Chamber has various objectives, all of which are the purpose of developing the cooperation and respect in the business environment. As part of the TICC, you will have access to exclusive services and the opportunity to participate in special activity reserved only to members. Members of the TICC are mostly Italian or Thai businesses, professionals, entrepreneurs, associations, and institutions. As a Chamber of Commerce, we are very open to collaboration opportunities and you're more than welcome to contact our team for possible cooperation. You can find our contact details in our website listed here or call 02 255 8695. Thank you very much for your attention and we're looking forward to hearing from you. Okay, now we can uh, start. I hope uh, everyone can hear me now. Yes. Okay, great. Um, today, as you know, we are going to talk about uh, Thai herbal medicine. And uh, this is the fourth episode of a series of uh, Thai herbal medicine. But today, the topic will be uh, about uh, integrating uh, herbal remedies into everyday life. And uh, today with us, we have Mr. Chanan Sonbun Bechakan, Managing Director of Wei An Dispensary Company Limited. Mr. Chanan currently is the Managing Director and Chief Innovation Officer at the company, uh, who is a third generation business owner and carries through the family business core values of integrity, honesty, and affordable, affordable health to the consumers. He's a passionate entrepreneur who is open to new ideas of mixing innovation with the herbal heritage. His vision is to make herbal remedies to be more standardized with high efficacy together with continuous search for new target consumers, such as children and athletes, in which his products lead to many prestigious awards, such as a Prime Minister Albert Awards, FDA Quality Award, and Prime Minister Award for Organizational Innovation. Furthermore, Mr. Chanan obtained both bachelor and master degrees in food science and technology and is currently pursuing a PhD in Technopreneurship and Innovation Management at Chulalongkorn University. His passion beyond his profession includes running marathons, literature, and writing. And uh, with no much further ado, I would like to leave our virtual stage of, uh, Mr. to Mr. Chanan. And after his presentation, we will be able to have a Q&A session with him. So you are very welcome to drop uh, your question in uh, the chat here, I will manage uh, later on to address him. Thank you a lot for being with us, everyone. Mr. Chan, it's all yours. Thank you a lot. Okay. Thank you very much for the grand introduction. And I think um, today we, we're going to talk about like um, my business and also it's, uh, it's an industry that a lot of people are very, you know, interested about right now. So I, uh, my topic today is new normal. That's no normal. So we can talk about how to integrate the herbal medicine or supplements into the everyday life. Yes, you have introduced. 
Yeah, I, I had a food science degree for both the bachelor and master, and now I'm doing um, PhD in um, innovation management. Okay, and I've been back to manage my family business since um, 2010. Uh, so here, let's me, let me give you a, a little bit history of the company. So yes, my my grandpa and my grandma, you know, they, they immigrated from China since the um, 1930s. You know, um, it's Mr. Sai Jai, Mr. Satyan and Mrs. Sai Jai, Song Vishakarn. You know, um, now they have passed away, you know. Um, they immigrated with, um, you know, at first they didn't have any money, you know, like um, a lot of Chinese people escaped from the communists. And at first they work in a, in a medicine store at, um, who earn very little per month, like um, 300 baht. Okay, and from 1942 to 1947, um, my grandfather, you know, he had to learn the language and also as, an, as a student to the, to the Chinese medicine master, he learned how to produce his own recipe. And then he is licensed as a traditional pharmacist and also a therapist. So in, back in the old days, you know, he, he just touch your, I don't know how to say that, but um, just touch your hand and he knows what's wrong with you. Yeah. And then um, my last name, as he registered, you know, um, my Chinese last name means leaf. It's called Ye. So, you know, my, my company logo is, is a leaf. So it's, it's a family name. And Sumbun Weshikan, it means, Sumbun means um, wealthy. Weshikan means um, medicine. So it's, uh, we, are, we are rich in medicine. So at the beginning in um, 1947, so um, my grandparents, Oh, started from one unit block at the uh, Tonbury, you know, yes, uh, uh, excuse me, anyone with a question? No. Oh, okay, okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. And um, we started with a small pharmacy. It's called Wei An. Wei An in Chinese means um, sanitary and safe. Okay, and um, in 1949, we expanded to two units. Yeah, this is a picture of the, the old white an. And you see the, the person on the right, uh, the one with glasses behind the counter, that's my grandfather. And uh, the two kids in the front, Actually, I asked my dad, is that you? He said, no, I don't know who they are. Yeah, so back in the old store, um, he had a herb kitchen in the back, you know, to try his new formulas for, for patients since, you know, he not just a pharmacist, but as a traditional pharmacist, he had to, to analyze the symptoms of patients. And prescribe, prescribe like uh, Chinese formulas for the medications, and um, it was great that you know those formulas, those formulas that worked, he registered with the FDA. So some of the um, the products that he he thought of back then or invented back then is still in the market today. Uh, that's my grandfather and my grandmother. And he has eight children. So, and my dad is a second son of, of the family, uh, fifth, fifth child and second son. He's on the extreme right of the screen. And in 1986, uh, we expanded from, from a small pharmacy, you know, we, we 
moved to um, Banque uh, to, to start our own manufacturing site. Since you know we have a quite a customer base, and also we had a pretty good lo location, you know, good transportation routes from Bangkok to um, and suburbs. Near back then, we we just started with a um, small machinery, but now uh, here's here's my father, the the CEO of the company. Uh, we are standardized more and um, I think 95% of, um, of our production line is automatic. Um, from the capsules, we have like um, automatic washing of the herbs. And also um, we have so many, so many production lines like um, pills, tablets, capsules, extracts. And we are certified um, GMP PICS right now. So it's the highest, um, highest standard for the herbal medicine that you can, you can get, which is not very easy. And they, they come to audit you every three years. And we also have our own labor, our own lab. You know, um, we have uh, machines like um, HPLC to, to see the active ingredients in the um, in the herbs, so mostly we do andrographis paniculata or fratellitone. Now it's uh, very popular because um, the Thai herbal um, what do, what do you call that foundation from the ministry they just announced it as uh, you know you can use it for for COVID to treat mouth symptoms or when you have like, you know, um, severe symptoms, it can be used with the, with the paracura or something. And here's the, the products um, from Oyan. Some of the best sellers in the middle, we have Kalkui water for, for children. And we also do syrups, we do pills and uh, the capsules on the top, um, Fatalai Joan, Senna Leaf, and um, Kaminchan, those are registered in the Thai herbal pharmacopoeia. So everyone knows the, the functions. Like um, Kaminchan is for flatulence, Senna Leaf is for um, relief constipation, and Fatalai Joan is for common cold. And here we also have the supplements and also another, um, our affiliated brand. Uh, it's in Putmonton, Sai Ha. We have both um, medicine and also supplements and they are also G um, GMP PICS certified. Here are our trademarks. We have um, Wei An also since 1947. Golden Dragon, um, the latest one is Mr. Herb and Herbal One. And who do we sell to? We, um, in, in Thailand, we have about 7,000, actually 7,500 right now, local pharmacies and, and health shops. And also we distribute to modern trade chains such as um, 7-Eleven, Boots and lab pharmacy, and we also have our own mall, Las Mall um, in Lazada, and also other online distributor distributors, and we also do export with um, documentation services. So we provide everything that um, all your FDA needs, and you know, like we we will talk about it and we process. Uh, if you need need to test for like heavy metals or microorganisms, you know, we, we do it for free and send you the results. So uh, it meets the standard of your country. Right now um, in ASEAN, we do export to Laos and Myanmar. In Myanmar, they, they, um, they import our turmeric extract. Uh, so it sells quite a lot about um, 
to 20,000 boxes per year. And in Laos, they, they import the Kaukui water to, to relieve the fever for, for adults and children. And in, in Europe, we do um, OEM for Austria, uh, which they, the main thing that they import is Fatalajon and Kaminchan. And recently, we, we just registered with um, Czech Republic. You know, um, they, you know, during the COVID situation, they, they requested for the Fatalajon or Andrographis. So, you know, uh, they placed 3,000 bottles order and within the first week they sold for 1,000 already, you know, because people are scared and hopefully Italy in the future. And here's the product lines. This is the traditional pills, you know, um, we are one of the few companies who still, who still do this because, you know, the machines are pretty hard to operate, you know, like um, a lot of people think, you know, the circle pills, we just use hands to, you know, roll them and make them into pills. But um, actually the machines are automatic, but uh, um, the formula has to be right. So uh, we can put texture and also the right, the right uh, density of the pill. And what you see is the uh, lozenges, like we have like seven flavors, you know, like um, the orange and the sour plum is sold in 7-Eleven. Um, also, we do have capsules. We have tablets. Uh, this is also lozenges. Uh, we have five flavors. Like uh, we do have like um, cool fla flavors like um, pomegranate and mango. So we do liquid uh, internal medicine such as kaukui water and also cough syrups. And not uh, many years ago, maybe like about. 10, 11 years ago, when I just came back, we started doing extracts and we, you know, try to um, make the industry more advanced. So for Fatalai John and Kamin Chan, um, the turmeric and andrographis, we, we make them more concentrated, you know, and mix with uh, a few other herbs to make it more, um, easier to absorb into the human body. So like the Kaminchan Plus, um, usually for Kaminchan, you need like three or four capsules, but for this, you only need one. Same as the Fatalite Zone, for um, maybe you take like um, four or three capsules, you know, if it's crude powder, but for this one, you only need to take one as well. Also, we have um, herbal supplements like um, they have. So we have quite a lot, you know, like um, almost covers almost everything except like uh, cancer or like um, serious diseases that cannot be cured. And here's the company vision, you know, like um, this is what me and my father came up with, you know, we, we since it's a family company, you know, we try to uphold the herbal heritage that um, our founder, Mr. Satyan has always taught us, you know, but uh, we, we do it with a twist. So we try to add value to the industry by um, innovation. Okay, and we try to provide health solution at an affordable price to everyone, you know, like um, my, my grandfather always tell his children and grandchildren that, you know, um, herbal medicine is not, it's not magic medicine. So, you know, you cannot sell them at a premium price because it's not, it's not the point of um, manufacturing medicine. Now we have uh, quite a few new products, and this is the, the line for um, both medicine and supplements. And we have a 
a new product policy. So the first one is no can cannibalism. So um, it will not have the same function as the old one. You know, if it's uh, for flatulence, we will not do it again. It has to be something very new or it is, we, we always try to look for new target consumers like um, kids, athletes, you know, and also if it's the same fun, if it's the same function or um, health um, indications, we try to add convenience into, into the product. Okay. And um, we try to design the product to, to last for at least 10 years. And for us, what's innovation, you know, it's, it has to be something new, something useful, and most important, you know, it's, uh, it has to sell. Otherwise, it's just called invention. Uh, this is the history of how, how Wei An also has um, evolved through the years. This, we started from, you know, like my grandfather, we, we only made pills back then, you know, it's uh, called traditional Chinese pills. And every time you have to take like five to 10 pills per dosage, you know, and um, at first they are very bitter without, without coding. Okay. And the formula is, you know, made by, made from trial and error. My, my grandfather studied a lot of um, Chinese pharmacopoeia. So he, he came up with um, a lot of formulas which um, he passed the book to my dad and my dad passed to me, but uh, I, I kind of need a little bit of translation because um, it's in Chinese. And when my dad took over my, my grandfather's business, you know, he, and that time, uh, I think it was the IMF problem, the, the economy burst in Thailand that uh, we, we didn't, you know, go down in business, but we went up like um, maybe 200% from then because the government, um, you know, they encourage the, the Thai citizens to, to use more herbs because it's cheaper, you know, like um, the, the currency, like the, um, the pounds and the US dollars went up pretty high. So um, the government made a list, I mean, uh, Minister of Health made a list of um, a few herbs to be included in the, in the common, it's called common drug or yasaman pachamban. So my dad uh, used the idea to, to promote and make into capsules. Like for, for capsules, it's easier because one, it, it looks modern and two, um, it has no direct taste like the, the pills, you know, sometimes you get the bitterness, but um, for capsules, you just take a couple, drink water and, you know, swallow. And uh, when I came back, I tried to um, uh, use what I learned to, to create new products. Like um, for technology, we use like um, extraction to decrease the dosage like from three capsules to one capsules. And also it's more research-based formulation, not just, you know, some, something that I come up with alone, but, um, you know, I, I do, do a lot of um, literature review on, you know, like for Commission Plus, um, like I said, it's uh, for anti flatulent and also for um, heartburn. You know, um, we study that the, um, the curcumin in the turmeric is, um, it works together with piperine in black pepper to, you know, absorb into the body um, 10 times. Okay, so every time you take, you only need one capsules instead of three. So now new normal, you know, like what, what is this pandemic going to do with our lives? Um, what is normal? Uh, the answer is nothing. However, you know, like um, humans, we, we have four basic needs like shelter, clothing, medicine, and food, you know, but the, the new ones are different. 
you know, like uh, the, the new normal or like the nothing normal. The first for me is optical health, your eyes, because most of the time you, you use screen, you have a lot of screen time, either from the computer or from smartphones, you know, like um, you do everything from home, like um, shopping, work, entertainment. And second, you need a quality sleep, you know, not necessarily long sleep, which I will talk about it later. And third, you need a very good immune system. It's very important right now <laughs> since uh, COVID. And the last one is a healthy family, including, including your children. So how herbal remedies can satisfy those needs? First, I'll start with the optical health. We have, uh, we have a supplement called Okoberry. It's made from um, bilberry extract and marigold flower extract. You know, um, the research came out, it says like it improves night vision, reduces eye fatigue, which we have a lot of good reviews uh, from customers in Lazada and Facebook, which they, they just sent to us. They say out of the blue, they say, oh, their eyes have been, you know, less tiring at night. So, you know, it protects the retina, the lens. And also I think it's very um, important for, for those working people around like um, 25 until 50, you know. And quality of sleep, um, see on the left, uh, we wish we could sleep like a baby like that, but most of the time we are on the right at 3 a.m. middle of the night, just wide awake, with wide eyes open. And uh, I would like to use this graph as, you know, this is how, how you should be sleeping, you know, like um, total sleep, you should at least get seven or eight hours of sleep. And the human sleep cycles we have like, um, deep sleep, which you know, like uh, your, your body will take a full rest and also light sleep, which is also not bad, but you should have more, more deep sleep than light sleep to be efficiently functioning well. And you know, like um, sometimes you wake up to, to go to the bathroom or something, but sometimes you, when you go back to sleep again, you cannot, that affects the quality of sleep. So that's, uh, that's another problem, but we have a solution for that. So um, we are the first, first company, first herbal company that um, have this product is called Yakos. Uh, cause the CZ is for, you know, sleeping is made from um, Chinese formula. Uh, that's what my grandpa wrote in a, in a book. Um, it's made from four different Chinese um, herbs. Um, the, the name of the formula is called Sun Chao Ren Tang. And it's, um, it doesn't make you feel sleepy, but um, you know, it, um, studies show that it increases deep sleep, which I just talked about just now. And actually this is my own graph. <laughs> so yeah, um, I kind of test it myself and you know like um, before we launch anything you know uh, our family members try we let our staff try you know so bef uh, before we launch the product sometimes we also send to the target group and let them try before before we launch so that's that's one good thing about our company we we operate like family you know and uh, the employees they they like to try new things too and for immune system, which is very important right now. So we have um, endographics, both the crude and the extract form. Now it's approved by the Min Ministry of Health to be used with uh, mild COVID symptoms in hospitals. And also it can be used with, um, with the medication to treat um, COVID-19. Um, for the extract, you need a, uh, if you have COVID, 
you need about 180 milligrams of andrographolite per day, which um, my product has 60 capsules. So one day you take about 18 and they recommend you to take for um, five days with um, who has mild symptoms and in the hospital. And also um, on the right is called five finger root extract. Uh, in Thai it's called grashai. It's, um, it's a herb that a lot of people use to cook. Um, the nature of the herb is hot. So this is good for the immune system as studied by the um, one of the top universities in Thailand, Maidon University. And we need healthy sugar, you know, like um, now we have, the policy is not like before, like uh, my, my grandpa has eight kids. Um, I have another two siblings, but uh, myself, I only have one child. So people now, you know, like um, smaller families. So the health of the children is more important than ever. So we have a new target group. This is launched about um, five years ago. It's called Mr. Herb uh, Cough Mixture for Kids. You know, the, the product concept, you know, like uh, we, we find a pain point of why um, the customers do not want their kids to, to take pharmaceuticals. You know, like first it has alcohol, uh, maybe they have allergens like um, food coloring, you know, and it sometimes they taste like not so natural and it's uh, usually it's artificially colored and flavored. So those are the pain points that we, we fix all. So the product has no alcohol, it's allergen free, you know, and the taste is pretty, pretty friendly for children from, from the review. Yeah, I, I can drink them myself. And we, we don't use any artificial color and flavor. And, you know, the best thing is, you know, uh, we, we legally um, request the FDA to register this as um, medicine to help children with cough starting from two years old. And, you know, the, the label is, is legal. So it's very important that, you know, you follow the rules. Otherwise, you know, it's um, the, if the government, they have like a post, post team that, you know, go to the market and, you know, collect products that are not as they are registered. So that's, that's why we, we, do, we do it the right way. That's uh, what, what our companies value on. Um, and it's sold in um, 7-Eleven and other um, modern trade shops as well. And in 2017, it got the, um, this product got the um, SME Thailand Innovation Awards for the health products. And two years ago, we just launched this. Um, yeah, it's uh, to treat um, symptoms of um, early common cold. Um, actually, the, the ingredient that we use, the, the elderberry extract we import from Italy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the company name is uh, Iprona. Iprona, if you, do you know them? Maybe, yeah. But the elderberry is, um, is studied to, to have a very good effect on immune system, you know, like um, in the US, they have a brand called uh, Sambucol, which also uh, do a lot of these products. But for this, it's, uh, it's more special because we don't just add vitamins and water, but we combine it with um, the recipe that my, my grandpa put down for, for common code for children. So yeah, it's a, it's a mix between East and West. 
you know, like the elderberry from Europe and the, um, the Chinese traditional medicine from, from the East. Also, um, for a lot of people, they now exercise is very important. So we, we have a new target group. It's a sports supplements, 100% um, from herbs. Uh, a lot of people, you know, why, why you have to use herbs for, for sports? It's like, you know, it sounds so totally unrelated. So we actually do some studies and we, we have this, um, the formula is from sunflower, um, Thai ginseng or Grashai Dam, and also black sesame. Um, the sunflower is to, to improve the blood flow and for the maximize your oxygen, you know, it makes your hemoglobin um, exchange the oxygen to the muscles faster. And for the Thai ginseng or Grashai Dam, it reduces the lactic acid in the, in the muscles. So you have a better recovery. And for black sesame extract, um, this is very important uh, because me and uh, Mr. Nikolai just uh, talk about those people with uric acid. And the black sesame um, is research um, by the Chiang Mai University to have very positive effects on the joint and bone inflammation. So uh, this formula is, is good for athletes, um, both in performance and for prevention, injury prevention. And we also do a sample trial before launch by um, 30 runners. Um, within seven days, you know, like um, almost half of them feel a change. And within 14 days, it's 82%. Uh, and within a month, um, they all have, they feel different. You know, they can run easier, you know, like 80% um, get a, you know, lower heart rate when they exercise. Uh, easier breathing, because your, your heart beats slower. And so you, you breathe easier because your, your lungs work less. And also uh, almost 90%, they have faster muscle recovery. And also, you know, like for, for runners, long distance runners, um, they need to recover fast to, to train the next day or every other day. So they have less muscle fatigue during training. And, and for more information, please visit my website, um, worldwideweb.ouayun.com. Um, for the English, just go to the top right-hand corner. Um, then you get to see all the products that we have. So to, um, yeah, in the end, just Gratzi and Arvideshi. Hopefully we can do some business together. You know, uh, if not, you know, like um, good friendship. Amishi is fine. I welcome many questions. Uh, thank you, thank you a lot, uh, Mr. Chan. Um, it's very interesting also the history of, uh, uh, let's say, the family heritage and knowledge that you share with us. And of course, we saw it is, uh, actually, you, your company prepare uh, several different products. And uh, of course, I invite all the participants in, uh, uh, in our uh, webinar, if uh, you would like to ask, uh, Something more specific, you can use the icon, uh, for example, to raise your hand, and uh, I will give you a word, or uh, you can just drop your question in the chat. And um, um, in the meantime, uh, um, I would like to, to mention, yes, we were talking about uh, uh, sport and uh, people that practice sport. And we saw that, for example, in, with the weather of Thailand that is extremely hot, joints, uh, might have some problem, as well as we in uh, Europe, for example, maybe during winter, uh, for example, you might have, uh, because of the cold, uh, stiff muscle, and uh, uh, you might be more prone to, to uh, get some injury. But you said, like, in just the last information that you said, like, 
uh, you present like a, uh, I would say like a supplement for athletes. And uh, it's uh, pretty interesting. It's something that is, uh, uh, is, a new, is a new botanical food supplement or is something that uh, uh, you've been uh, producing for a long time? Um, came out two years ago. And um, actually we also received a prime minister award for that, for the um, health supplement of the year by the Ministry of Health. So, yeah, and you know, it's pretty popular among marathon runners and cyclists and triathletes. So it's uh, about three years, it's pretty new. It's pretty new. Yeah, two product, years actually. And now, now actually just launched a new one um, last end of last year. It's, um, it's another version of this, but it's for before your race or before your hard training days to, to you know, like keep yourself warm up and also to, you know, to help to maximize your performance. And, you know, that's, it's all herbs. So there's no doping or any, any uh, suspicious ingredients that uh, will be detected by the, you know, for professional athletes. That's very, absolutely very interesting. Uh, also, just recently, you, you I understand that you love uh, uh, sport. Uh, just recently, they started the European football uh, uh, tournament in, uh, in Europe. So this, <laughs> maybe my type was a football player. Uh, and also last May, we just finished the Giro d'Italia, the bicycle uh, uh, tour of Italy with uh, several teams. It's uh, probably um, this year, uh, uh, it was uh, celebrating the 104 years of Giro d'Italia, uh, which is like um, a tour of Italy with several teams that covers uh, over 3,000 kilometers in three weeks. Uh, so this one is, uh, again, like uh, pretty challenging or exhausting, I'd say. Uh, but uh, yes, it's um, absolutely interesting, like the, uh, I would say, the abundance of products that uh, Thailand can actually uh, prepare. Actually, you mentioned about cyclists. I, I use um, the sport classes from Rudy Project from Italy. Very nice. Okay, now we have um, a couple of a couple of questions popping up. The first one from Alberto De Rio. Uh, what are the next plan? Uh, the next plans for your company? Do you think to focus on local market or abroad? Um, we we try to do both, you know, because like we we are open to all possibilities, you know, and we have enough capacity to to support both. Yes, but um, maybe not China, but because it's too big. But um, we recently bought um, quite a big land in the Nikom Sinsakon, uh, which will triple our current capacity. So we plan to build it the next year. So yeah, the capacity will be much higher and also the products will be more um, more variety of the products. And the local market is, uh, is always important. We, we have, uh, we focus a lot on our relationship with um, customers, both um, B2B and B2C, because since, um, since we have online shops and also Facebook and line official, a lot of people buy through us directly. And also we, we cannot just, you know, like sell them without uh, a good information. So we, our staff, the admin are actually traditional doctors who can, who can answer the questions directly to the customers. So that's, that's the way that we are approaching things. Yeah. And another thing is, you know, always look for the new, new target consumers. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And uh, the next, uh, we have a couple of questions actually from uh, Miss uh, uh, Rosaline Unibantu. 
Uh, Rosalind, would you like to address directly Mr. Chanan since you are with us, maybe? Oh, I, I, see the, I see the questions. What kind of people are your main customers? Okay, uh, this, this evolves over time. Uh, it used to be the, the average age for the um, for consumers used to be about 45 before, before I came to, to work in the company. And then we rebranded in 2014 to make a brand look younger. And also not just uh, rebranding is not just about packaging or, or the or the look of the product. It is the product itself too that you need to rebrand. So you always have to have something new and innovative. So to attract the new generations of customers and the, this new generation of customers, they are smart. They are very capable of finding information. So whatever we launch, we have to be very prepared for giving them good information. And also it has to meet their needs. Otherwise, you know, um, a great idea is just an invention, but a great idea that sells is an innovation, in my opinion. For number two, is there any guidance available on how to use all your different products? I'm passionate about food and herbs as medicine, but even so, I'm often overwhelmed in Thai herbal shops and don't know where to start, especially with more obscure herbs. Um, actually, you can, um, I can give you a contact to one of our doctors, then, um, you know, to recommend your, just for your personal use. I think that's the best because most herbal shops in Thailand, they, they hire staff and most of them do not know what they are talking about. Um, even for us, we, we do go, we do send staff to train the, the staff of our business customers, the pharmacies to know about the herbs and their functions. But again, the turnover of this staff is pretty high. They don't stay for very long. So when the new staff comes in, we have to go and train again. And most of them will just, you know, practically clueless, unless it's a very professional shop with uh, real pharmacists in it. Um, thank you very much for the very informative answer. Um, I, I was actually I'm interested from the perspective of a, a customer, but also the other thing that I do in my, my daily work is um, provide educational platforms for uh, food and cookery. And one area that I'm now entering into is looking at food as medicine. And we've been looking at actually using herbs in cooking and explaining, uh, you know, the different medicinal as well as culinary benefits to these things. So, you know, if, if, you, if you're available, it would be wonderful to connect and, and maybe talk about how we could bring some education through that platform as well. Yeah, I think that's very interesting, you know, like um, since the olden days, people, people say, you know, you eat healthy, you don't need any medicine. So that's, that's a very, very good idea to, to implement herbs. Actually, the definition of herbs is um, it's almost anything, a plant or part of animals or minerals that you use to, to help with your body functions that has good benefits for, for your body. So I think that's very, that's very thoughtful and um, something very good for the industry that you are doing. Well, I, I hope to connect in and uh, learn even more from you as well on another occasion. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rosalind. And of course, uh, at the end of the presentation, we will uh, upload the record of the webinar online. And of course, uh, Mr. Chan, uh, we can share your presentation with your contact with the particip participants. 
so we can uh, we can support uh, any exchange uh, uh, in case. And uh, in the meantime, we'll let's ask if um, there is any anyone else in uh, in the audience uh, that would like to ask a more specific question. Uh, by the way, I type my email in the chat. So if anyone needs to contact me, uh, it's right here. And uh, if you have a line, this is my line ID. Okay, uh, that's a question from Mr. Adison. There have been cases of side effects or problems from using herbal medicines. Yes. So it's very important for, for our company to educate the customer that uh, some of the products do have side effects. Like for the endocrafis, we, we put clearly on the label that you shouldn't use for more than certain number of days. Or if you take uh, some kind of medication, you shouldn't take this. And um, for some, if you have like um, like cat whisker, which um, which helps with your bladder, you shouldn't take it if you have um, kidney kidney problems. So it's very important for for us to to be responsible for everyone's health, not just you know selling the stuff without without the right information for the consumers. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chan, I would like to ask you something that um, uh, related to your presentation, you mentioned about, uh, uh, for example, uh, metals uh, and um, let's say some, uh, some material that uh, you need to check uh, um, while preparing uh, uh, in, in uh, the factory uh, all, uh, um, for example, the, the pills uh, and etc. Uh, of course, uh, metals are very, very much in, in a discussion, of course, when we are talking about medicine, but even food. And uh, uh, what is your, uh, let's say, process, if you want to share with us, or let's say, what type of standards uh, you need to comply when uh, you need to keep a product mm -hmm. and at a standard level uh, for pharmaceutical purposes? Or let's say if you want to share the challenges that you have to face on a daily basis for this. Um, firstly, you need a good source for the, for the herbs. So um, uh, two months ago, before this wave of COVID, I just went to audit an organic farm that, grow, that grows our um, fertilizer, on the andrographis, and also the turmeric you know, and to see if they, they really do use like any kind of pesticides and stuff. We collect their soil and collect the samples and send it to um, third party lab to check for heavy metals and pesticides, which came, came back with uh, very positive results. And also, you know, in, for modern trade now, it's, it's pretty, pretty hard because like for every product before you get to, to the shelf, um, there are some standards that they set that we need to send uh, our products to, to test for safety, for, um, for microbiology, and also for um, pesticides, heavy metals. So yeah, pretty much we have to be very, very careful. Yeah, but uh, we, we try to audit our sources. And also uh, in business, the, the partnership and the relationship with your suppliers are very important. So we, we make sure if um, they are good, we'll keep doing business with them. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And if there is any anyone else that would like to drop a message or an inquiry, please do so. Oh, okay. 
Um, one probably like approaching the end of the webinar, I would like to have uh, um, uh, some uh, point of view from you uh, because I saw on your profile you are actually uh, studying in uh, uh, entrepreneurship, cyber entrepreneurship, and innovation. Uh, do you think or you expect some uh, uh, new type of cultivation of herbs uh, to boost the industry? Uh, for example, we saw that. Uh, uh, many countries are working on hydroponic uh, uh, type of cultivation or, um, let's say, from your point of view, a way to increase uh, standardization, but also boost the production of these products that are becoming uh, uh, more and more uh, interesting for different countries, not only for Italy, absolutely. What is your vision in this? Um, for the, you mean from the agriculture? point of view, right? How they grow the plants. For, for Thailand, it is pretty hard because farmers, you know, they, they sell what is what can give them money instantly. Like uh, what is in trend now, like uh, the endographists, they just increase the price and they do it. They collect the, the leaves before uh, um, the active ingredient is um, up to the standard. So a lot of people are selling stuff with bad quality products. So, um, and with higher costs too. And um, for standardization, you know, there, there has to be, you know, uh, in Thailand, it's, it's impossible for, for them to, to do it unless you force them to, you know, it's like, um, you know, sometimes you ask for um, confirmation um that's always a no you have to say you have to do this then they'll do it and uh, but the government is trying to help right now um, i've talked to the to the uh, director of the fda and he said for now um, they're trying to help the industry by certifying the right the the farmers who who do things the right way and they have different grades like a b c d you know so um and whoever bought whoever buy their um cultivation then they can put the label there okay this is gold this is silver so they will have more more choices they know the difference between the good product and bad products and they can you know make an informed decision before before they buy it. So I think that's very important, informed decision. So the customers have the right issues and the customers need the right information before they buy something within their budget. And for, um, for Europe and in other countries, I think it all depends on the, the labor cost because uh, I think it's, it's pretty high. So most of the products are, most of the herbs um, and tropical products are based in Asia, if possible. Um, but um, in Italy, like um, what I bought from Iprona is, is pretty expensive, but um, I, I understand because um, first is labor, second is shipping. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's not easy, but um, we try to find the best for for the consumers. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, just wait a few more seconds if there is anyone uh, in uh, in our audience that would like to address you with uh, some inquiry. Uh, but in the meantime, of course, we will share the information of the webinar on the TCC YouTube channel in a few days. And of course, the presentation of Mr. Chana will be available for the participant. Uh, you can save his uh, email if you need to connect with him, or you can just contact the TCC if you want to uh, get through uh, his website and etc. We are all available. And uh, OK, we say that um, uh, we can uh, wrap this video up. For today, I don't see any other uh, uh, 
uh, question, but anyhow, Dr. Chan, uh, thank you very much for your time today. It was very interesting, your presentation, and also thank you for sharing the history of uh, your company, Weian. Uh, we are here available and uh, we will uh, be in touch with you very soon. Okay, thanks for the invite, and you know, I hope you know. GICC. Yes. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Stay safe and uh, have a good weekend. Have a good weekend, everyone.